Hey guys, I'm Kunal Roy, and welcome to another episode of All Things Ambient. It's awesome to see all of your beautiful faces, and welcome to the new subscribers. In this channel, I go through shoegaze, dream pop, post rock album reviews, Ebo soundscapes, guitar soundscapes, all things ambient, and to come in the future, ambient trumpet and this is just an ambient channel in general where I go through plug-in reviews, guitar pedal reviews. So subscribe, hit that bell icon, but first the intro. Welcome back. And in this video, I review Robin Guthrie's new album, Pearl Diving. Track, track one. Shimmering guitars with reverb and delay, cradling the infant to sleep, bathing him in nostalgia, in stillness, in self-reflection. This album is absolutely beautiful, like all Robin Guthrie's albums. Shimmering, shimmering trails of reverb, echoing, cuckooing trails of delay, and uh, those nostalgic piano escapes and guitar-laden notes and chords. This album is like Robin Guthrie creating a lullaby of soundscapes to put you into the sweetest of dreams, transcending time and space where all that exists is this beautiful music. Track two, now how do I describe this? This album is very reminiscent of that really famous track from Twin Peaks that you're probably familiar with with reverb, delay, haunting textures and soundscapes. It's like the soundscapes that soar when angels and unicorns dance together up in the sky. It's, it's like the soundscapes created when angels and unicorns are the guardians of the galaxy and dance together in the galaxy. And space and time cease to exist. This song is magic. Track three. This track is reminiscent of fleeting thoughts as electronic drums create the ambience of a choo-choo train coming and of a choo-choo train moving with fleeting thoughts and you're and traveling through the universe. Track four. This track is really, really mysterious and makes you think about the magical wormholes of, of the time-space continuum that exists in the galaxy and in outer space. Outer space, that's, that's the word. This track is absolutely intergalactic with wormholes and time-space continuum where unicorns and angels are greeted by fairies in a galaxy far, far away. Drenched in reverb and delay, like the gingerbread man leaving trails for fairies and pixie dust to collect and find him in that special magical bliss. Track five, tremolo and reverb dance together to create Serenity's magical castle. This track's signature sound is one of full moons and magical candlelit dinners. I hope that paints the imagery. Track six, this track starts off very trance-like. And when I say trance-like, I mean almost like the genre of music, very, very trance-like. With piano lines somewhat melancholic yet haunting, and the shimmering reverb of guitars coming up. My favorite. This is my favorite track on the album, Euphemia, track seven. This is probably the most accessible track on the album, and this track in particular kind of reminds me of very Pink Floydian uh, song structures, um, some, like something out of the album The Endless River. Uh, this is probably their most accessible track and not my not exactly my most favorite if this video brings you value subscribe hit that bell icon and if you like this video give it a like because it helps the algorithm and shares this video with other people like yourselves and if you hit the bell icon you get notifications of updates on my further videos track eight now this track reminds me of well, it makes me think like I've just woken up in somebody else's lucid dream, completely consciously awake in somebody else's dream and creating dreamscapes and soundscapes. Uh, what dreamscapes and soundscapes dictate the overall
overall ambience and cinematic storyline. The key word is cinematic. Bathed and drenched in reverb and delay. This is my f second favorite song on the album, track nine. This is like a track where you're lost in space. It's melancholic and you're trying to find the spaceship that sent you out in space and you can't help but gaze at the stars. Shimmering guitars and reverb on the track, a very emotional track altogether. This track is very, very celestial. I love it. It's called Kerosene. Correction, this is my second favorite track on the album, track 10. This is another favorite track where there's with the drums and the reverb, I kind of feel, I kind of feel like this is a very uh, ominous track in the best possible way, almost like a premonition where you're suspended in space, dancing with the unicorns of the galaxy, the guardians of the galaxy. Once again, if this video brings you value, hit subscribe, hit the bell icon, and give it a like. If you like this video, give it a like. Once again, if this video brings you value, hit subscribe, hit the bell icon for further notifications of these videos. And if you really like this video, give it a like and help the algorithm and help other viewers see this video. And add to that, I've got a new course on Skillshare. If you want to upgrade and step up your, your creativity skills and be a little more creative, I've got a class called Creativity, Becoming a Remix of Your Influences, linked in the description below. I've also got new merch and a book called Emotions Felt to the Bone, and a soundtrack to the book Emotions Felt to the Bone, linked in the description below. And uh, yeah, and that's all for now, guys. And with that, I will catch you guys on the next episode of All Things Ambient.